All righty, we are live. Uh, hello, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you might be from across the world. Uh, we have representation in dozens of countries um, that are on this crazy marathon conference. Um, I just want to first off just get started by just saying I'd like to give a huge shout out to all the mangoes, um, all the supporters from the volunteers to the speakers to everybody for making this happen. And, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about intro and, you know, get this thing kick started. But I guess for those of you that haven't heard about the Thin Mango story, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce that. Um, what made me passionate, what got me involved with this financial education, this financial inclusion world. Uh, so my story started when I was really young. I was, I don't know what it is, I was just always fascinated with money and about saving and not spending. A little bit the opposite of you think. I grew up um, in a household where money was a very dark subject, um, so it always kind of hit me there. Um, but I always watched CNBC. Um, there was a show called The Suji Orman Show, which is a personal finance show. It was on every Saturday night, and I watched that show literally through my childhood. <laughs> uh, so I was kind of like a crazy kid. Um, but anyways, I went to college. I ended up going to college for a degree in the sciences and biology. Um, I always had a passion for financial literacy, but never thought I could actually pursue it or take that action. Um, I ended up going to grad school at Kent State University, and this is where the story began. I was in this class, and it was a class called Financial Management, and the professor just started ranting. Financial literacy, financial inclusion, it's the crisis of our lifetime that nobody knows about. So I was that really annoying kid, you know, that really annoying kid that's always in the front of the room, smiling and asking a million questions. So I raised my hand. And I said, what's the solution? What are people doing to effectively solve this problem? The professor um, then said, oh, that's how he talked. He's one of my mentors. I'm hoping he's on. Um, but it was a three hour class. And his answer was, oh, I don't know. So that class was called financial management and the nickname was called Finn Man. So that's actually the first part of the Finn Mango name. The second part of the name came from the fact that whenever it comes to money, whenever it comes to understanding, you know, how the world works financially, I've noticed that it was always a dark subject from my own household growing up where it was just never talked about to go into college and hear my friends having no idea about student loan debt, nothing about credit card debt. They knew nothing. And that's when it kind of hit me. I'd never had a personal finance class, never had the option to even take one. And that's where, you know, it's just crazy because it's, it's such a dark world and people don't like to talk about money. And so when we like was coming up with this name, I wanted something bright, I wanted something colorful, energetic to break into that darkness. And what's better than a mango? So it's the most, most popular fruit in the world. It's so bright, colorful, and it has so many colors. So anyways, Thin Man plus Mango is Thin Mango. So that's how the name started. Um, they launched it in November 2016. Had no idea where this was going to go. I just knew I had to do something. I knew I had to take action. So I just started. We started in Canton, Ohio, which is where I'm at now. And we had this inner city um, like program called the JRC, which worked with um, kids after school. Uh, this was November time, 16. It was such an awesome experience. We launched and we just started posting on Instagram, posting on Twitter, posting on social media. And then we had an organization reach out to us. This organization was from Togo. I know we have quite a few participants joining in right now from Togo. And at the time though, I had no idea where this was at. Uh, I was actually assuming it was gonna be a Nigerian print scam. So I had my Snapchat ready, uh, you know, just to uh, kind of film and take, you know, the, the document this, whatever's going to happen. And I get on this call with what ended up being one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life, Jeremy Stamidzi. This guy was so passionate, just like myself, in making a positive difference in the lives of others. And what he noticed firsthand was that financial literacy was a big piece in improving the quality of life. He was working in this rural community in Togo called Habu. And they didn't need money. They didn't need, you know, what they needed was support. They needed resources. They needed financial literacy, financial management resources. And so, you know, we, we got to work. And what's even more crazy, there's a city in Northern Togo called Mango. And uh, so there's a lot of relations. But anyways, that's how the story began. And just, we just started. 
And we just kept on going and going. And you know, remember the next step of the story, I met, I got invited. I don't know how I got invited. Somebody just saw us on Instagram or something. I got invited to speak at the University of Akron to 500 high school kids in May 2017. And I go to this event and I immediately when I walk in, I hear this older gentleman just ranting, Finn Mango, Finn Mango, this organization is awesome. I want to meet them. And I just tapped that old gentleman on the shoulder and this guy turned around. I was like, hi, I, I started that organization. And that guy happened to be an individual called Bob Gillingham or as many people tuning in, or if you see on our website, Mango Bob. It was kind of a special moment because we both had this passion and it was undeniable. So immediately after that conference, we both talked, did all their things, top students, we immediately connected. I went up to you know, his, his business and we just started talking and it was like a best friend right at that moment. And that's when it really hit me that, you know, when you're doing something, you can't do it alone and you have to find the most passionate people around you. And that's how you can build everybody up. So immediately we've been grinding and as we kind of continue, we just kept on growing this community and growing and growing and growing with just the most passionate people you could ever imagine. And looking back, it's just extremely humbling and really crazy. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to stop talking about that. I've had no time to prepare for this. Uh, we've been grinding here at Finn Mango for nonstop for two weeks to put on this crazy marathon conference. And I just want to give the hugest cute, like, kudos and shout out to all the mangoes again, um, from the tech support um, to the everybody that got involved with this to make this happen. And again, I apologize for having this be the worst keynote in history. We literally were working on tech issues right up to noon. <laughs> But um, that is my story. Um, so I just want to welcome everybody to this Travaganza event. Welcome to this world stage. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log off and we'll get ready to bring on the next panel.